Hey guys, bringing you another video on another dead character from The Walking Dead. This one will be looking at Dale Horroth, the RV owner, the wise and sweet old older man in season one. Dale is of course male, he was played by Jeffrey D. Munn. He is 64 throughout the show. He had a wife called Irma and had an unnamed baby boy that miscarried. He first appears in the Days Gone By episode, aka the pilot. Dale was married with Irma for years. They attempted to have a child, but it miscarried. Irma eventually got cancer and tried to fight it. Dale bought his RV to travel the country, but she didn't make it and died. After his wife's death, he was depressed and decided to do the trip himself, and then the outbreak, outbreak broke out. He met up with Andrew and Amy and rescued them, and met up with the other Atlantis camp survivors and made their camp. Dale is first seen in the camp with Amy. He doesn't think she's heard Rick on the on the other line when she does but and Dale kind of doubts that she heard him uh, Dale looks after Carl fixes his RV and takes a radio call from T-Dog Dale greets the returning group tells a story about his watch chops a zombie's head off and lends some tools for the rescue party of Merle Dixon Dale watches Andrew and Amy fish and sees Jim digging a grave he alerts the others as they try to stop him digging and tries ties him to a tree he eats some fish helps defend the camp from walkers when they attack he helps burn and bury the dead and spot Shane pointing a shotgun at Rick. Shane pushes this off, but Dale is sus. On the road to the CDC, they grant Jim's wishes and leave him on the side of the road. Dale and the others are let into the CDC when they enjoy the luxury, drink a meal, uh, drink a meal, have a drink and have a meal. Dale asks about the timer and Jenna closes the doors and traps them in. Eventually, he lets them go. Andrea decides to stay, but Dale also decides to stay to force her to leave, saying this. You don't get to do that. To, to come into somebody's life, make them care, and then just check out. Dale and Andrea escape barely and head on their way with the others. Andrea is pissed at Dale for what he did, and he tries to take her gun. He also hands her a screwdriver to go ham on the zombie in the RV. After Sophia goes missing, Dale and T-Dog stay back on the road. T-Dog gets delusional and starts saying the only reason these two were left behind is because Dale is old and T-Dog is black. Eventually, he calms down. Dale gives Andrea her, her gun back. Dale confronts Shane about Otis's death and helps gets the well walker out. Glenn tells Dale about his fling with Maggie. Dale tells Andrea not to shoot Daryl, who looks like a walker, and Dale confronts her saying that they've all wanted to shoot Daryl after she does. Glenn tells Dale about the barn walkers and Laurie's pregnancy, and then obviously Dale talks to Herschel about it, uh, and he asks Dale to stay quiet, and then he asks Laurie about the baby, and she tells him to stay quiet. So Dale confronts Shane again, and Shane threatens him. Dale gets Glenn to tell the group about the walkers and Laurie's pregnancy. Dale goes to hide the guns in a swamp to stop Shane from using them. Sh Shane tracks him down and forces him to hand the guns to Shane, but just before he says this underrated quote that I love... I may not have what it takes to last for long, but that's okay. At least I can say, when the world goes to shit, I didn't let it take me down with it. Dale returns later to see what Shane has done. Shane is confronted by Dale again. He attends the funeral and then uh, tells Laurie he believes Shane killed Otis. He later tells Andrea the same thing. Rick decides to kill Randall, hostile they brought back. Dale argues that it is inhumane to kill someone who may be innocent in an epic speech he gives. No one really sides with him except Andreas, kind of, and he decides to walk off as the execution commences. Dale is attacked by a walker and Carl, that Carl led to the farm. It gets on top of him, ripping his stomach open with its hands. The group rushes over and Herschel says there's no way to save him, so Rick decides to put him down, but can't, prompting Daryl to intervene, saying this. Sorry, brother. Dale is shot out of mercy by Daryl. Dale was a really cool character, and it's a shame that Darabon, the Darabont drama happened and the actor decided to leave, because it would have been awesome to see him in the later seasons and maybe even get his actual comic book death. Um, the conflict with him and Shane was is some of my favorite. It's some of my favourite stuff in Season 2. And I really think Season 2 gets a lot of shit for no reason. Um, when it is 
in terms of drama, it is a very good season. I just think there was one or th one or three episodes in there which are really not needed. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Dale's a really cool character, and tell me your thoughts on him. And uh, any other character you would like to see, please tell me. But bear in mind, I do have a kind of schedule it now. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye.